But every single genomic identifier is something that is unique to every individual, right? You've got 3 billion base pairs. And if I know your 3 billion base pairs, I can figure out who you are, right? So re-identification is really possible. Like even if you de-identify data, right? like you took, you took some patient's genomic data and you took out some parts, it would actually be pretty easy to look up who you are based mm. on geno- genealogical websites, public records, the whole like 23andMe Me, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ancestry.com, um, like that, that whole thing, right? So there's privacy risks and that can reveal dispositions to disease, potential discrimination. And you've got stuff like HIPAA that actually controls and creates barriers for that kind of data sharing. It's a very good thing that we're doing that, yes, right? Because yes. then... Without it, you can you can have potential discrimination on life insurance, long term care. Yeah, right, that's the whole Obamacare pre existing condi- mm-hmm. conditions issue. Yeah, if we know who you are and what your pre existing conditions are, we're going to charge you more because you're a higher risk and liability for us as the insurance provider. Exactly. Yeah, you don't want that. That's just blatant nonsense. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. 